Hey guys, I'm Cinecraft here. In today's video, wait a second. Welcome to us. So yeah, I started playing Osu. So around three months ago, I posted a Skyblock video making fun of all the loot I got from that first fishing festival. After I uploaded that, I thought I'd take a break from YouTube and Skyblock in general, since I had some pretty important things I needed to do. Because of this, I stopped playing Skyblock, one, because there wasn't much to do, and two, because I couldn't really find any entertaining content to make about it. A few days later, while I was in a Discord call, one of my IRL friends introduced me and all my friends to the game Osu. Side note, I know the game's technically called Os, but I, I just call it Osu. Anyways, I downloaded it for fun, opened the game up, and then my computer crashed. Like, four times. At this time, I had a pretty bad memory card, and the game just kept on crashing for some reason whenever I tried to open it. So, I ended up just uninstalling the game and moved on from it. But since you can probably read the title, and since you already clicked on the video, you can probably guess that I did end up re-downloading the game. Literally a few hours later, after I troubleshooted some things, and I began starting to play with friends. After a few hours of learning the basics of the game and trying to click circles at the correct times, I realized that I actually really enjoyed the game. I downloaded some songs from Pokemon Undertale and also downloaded some of my favorite anime openings and endings and just started to play them. This game was for some reason fairly easy for me, even though I had never played a rhythm game before this. As I played more during the next few days, I was able to fully combo 3 star maps after only a day of playing and was able to pass a few 4 stars after only 2 days of playing. However, I was still pretty bad and had kind of low accuracy, but something happened down the line and for some reason, I started to consistently get accuracy in the 90s. Now I played Osu whenever I had any extra free time and I slowly improved the more I played. I learned how to read notes better, single tap faster, and aim more consistently, and I was slowly climbing in rank. I knew that the majority of the player base played with a drawing tablet and pen, but one, I didn't have a tablet, and two, I preferred to play with a mouse, so all of the gameplay you're seeing is all done with mouse and keyboard since that's been the way I play Osu. As I played more, I began to watch more and more Osu YouTubers, and I eventually ended up joining an Osu Discord to ask some of the questions I had, since I couldn't find them anywhere else. One conversation arose which ended up with me linking my profile, and then one person told me, wow, no Harumachi Clover. Curious, I asked, what's Harumachi Clover? All of them told me that I didn't want to know, but I was already opening up Google. After a quick search, I learned why they told me not to look it up. I had uncovered something that all Osu players eventually come across while they're playing Osu. PP farming. PP, or performance points if you didn't know, is basically how you are ranked in Osu. Simply put, harder maps equal more PP. And the more PP you have, the higher rank. And the higher the rank, the cooler you are. After learning about this method of quickly ranking up, I did some more research and found out that this easy way of ranking up was actually something highly discouraged as it greatly lowered your accuracy and made you perform worse when you played other maps other than PP farm maps. However, moments after learning about this huge downside, I found myself downloading some PP farm beat maps and I played a few. They were completely different from normal maps, but as the name suggests, I moved up way more ranks than usual after I completed them. As I played a few more PP farm maps, my accuracy surprisingly started going up contrary to what people were telling me. Additionally, when I took a break and played non-PP farm maps, I was actually able to perform way better than I did before, and because of this, I slowly kept improving. Somewhere along the road, I had made a goal to myself. I wanted to try and get 5 digit on Osu. For those of you who do not know what that means, 5 digit simply refers to your global rank. So I was basically aiming to reach the top 100,000 players worldwide. On September 17, I created my Osu account. On October 10, I hit 1000 PP. On October 26, I hit 2000 PP. On November 12, I hit 3000 PP. From this point forward, every few days I was increasing by 100 few PP, and I soon realized that I was getting really close to 5 digit, which was around 3750 PP at the time. On December 6, I hit 3700 PP. I noticed that I was probably only a few plays away from reaching 5 digit, so I thought about a map that would help me get there. After thinking about it, I thought of essaying this map on its hardest difficulty, as the month is December and this map is Christmas themed, so yeah. 
After getting a bit closer to 5 digit, I began to play the map. I had choked the FC on this map multiple times, only missing at the last few notes, which basically rendered my plays useless. After trying for a bit longer, I ended up taking a break and I started randomly playing other maps just to relax. And then this happened. Yep, I accidentally have seen the same map but with a lower difficulty and got enough PP to push me to 5 digit. Oh well, at least the map was still Christmas themed. And with that, this random 207 PP play I got pushed me up 1690 ranks and brought me to the top 100,000. My goal I set 3 months ago had been achieved. All in all, my 3 month journey has been great. I started an Osu account on September 17 and on December 7 I reached 5 digits, so just around under 3 months. If you want to know at the time of making this video, I currently have around 3,850 PP and I'm around top 95,000. To me, this game is really fun and I plan on continuing to play it even though I already reached my previous goal. Maybe I'll end up going for top 50,000. On a side note about Hypixel Skyblock videos, I've been collecting my minions every few days and I have like 400 mil stored up in my bank and saved in Enchanted Diamond Blocks. I haven't played any of the new content released for the past few months, so maybe I'll end up making some videos about that. Who knows. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I know it's completely different from all of my other videos on my channel, but I thought I'd share what I've been up to lately. If you enjoy Osu content and want more, uh, let me know by hitting the like button. This is the second time I'm uploading a different game other than Minecraft to my channel, so I'm just wondering how you guys are going to react to this video. Anyways, that's basically it. Oh. I forgot to do that thing that literally every single YouTuber does right now. Alright, if you didn't know, around... Whoa, I've never looked at this statistic before, but apparently... Only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed, so if you end up enjoying this video, consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. Haha, <laughs> funny joke. But for real, if you could subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. I never actually realized how low my watch time from subscribers percentage was. So yeah, uh, please subscribe. Thanks. Anyways, thank you very much for watching this video and have a wonderful day.